हेलो एवरी वन हाउ यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो आई वेलकम यू अगैन टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास एंड टूडे वील डू चैप्टर नंबर फोर फ्रॉम योर हनी सर्कल बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज एन इंडियन अमेरिकन वुमेन इन स्पेस कल्पना चावला सो बिफोर रीडिंग दिस चैप्टर लेट मी आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ एस्ट्रोनॉट डू यू नो एनी थिंग अबाउट एन एस्ट्रोनॉट कल्पना चावला Well, you will get to know a lot about Kalpana Chawla through this story. But before reading this story, you all must know that an astronaut is a person who has been trained for traveling in space. This is an inspirational real-life story of Kalpana Chawla, a girl from a small town who is fondly been remembered by the world for her remarkable achievements and success in space kalpana chawla was the first american astronaut and the first woman of indian origin to reach space in 1997 kalpana chawla became part of the international crew aboard the us space shuttle columbia becoming the first woman born in india to go into space but sadly the second mission in columbia ended in tragedy so what was that tragedy that never happened before how kalpana chawla became an astronaut and how her journey towards the space ended in tragedy we'll get answers of all these questions through this chapter so let's start reading this inspirational story and let's know more about kalpana chawla so this story starts with a news report with the headline tragedy in space us space shuttle columbia breaks into flames in an unprecedented space tragedy us space shuttle columbia carrying india born american astronaut kalpana chawla and six others broke apart in flames as it streaked over texas towards its landing strip on saturday 1st february 2003 killing all seven on board the shuttle lost contact with nasa at about 9 am as it came in for landing it was flying at an altitude of over 200000 feet and traveling at over 20000 km per hour when ground control lost contact with the shuttle Columbia had lifted off on 16 January 2003 from the Kennedy Space Center Florida. It had stayed in orbit for 16 days and the seven member crew conducted 80 experiments before it began its downward journey which ended in tragedy. This was Columbia's 28th space flight and the shuttle was said to be good for 100 flights. Here the word tragedy means a very sad event or situation especially one involving death or suffering the word space shuttle means a vehicle in which people travel into space and back again sometimes carrying a satellite or other equipment into orbit the phrase breaks into flames means damages by fire The word unprecedented means never being happened or existed in past. The phrase streaked over means moved very fast over. The phrase landing strip means a long flat area of ground that is used by aircraft with wings when taking off and landing. The word board means aircraft the word altitude means the height of something above sea level the word orbit means the curved path through which objects in space move around a planet or star crew means a group of people who work together on a ship aircraft etc So this news report tells us that the US space shuttle Columbia which was carrying India born American astronaut Kalpana Chawla and six others crashed over Texas while landing on Saturday 1st February 2003 killing all seven on board The shuttle lost its contact with NASA at a sharp uh, 9 am and it was flying at an altitude 
that is height of over 200,000 feet and its traveling speed was 20,000 km per hour when ground control lost its contact with the shuttle. Columbia took its 28th flight on 16th January 2003 from the Kennedy Space Center, Florida. And it had stayed in orbit for 16 days and the crew members did 80 experiments before beginning its tragic journey towards the land. And this space shuttle had been claimed to be good for 100 more flights. So it was indeed a tragedy that shook the whole world. So let's start reading this chapter in detail to know more about Kalpana Chawla, about her education and about her achievements. Kalpana Chawla said that she never dreamed as a child in Karnal that she would cross the frontiers of space. It was enough that her parents allowed her to attend engineering college after she graduated from Tagore school. So here the word frontier means borders and the word dream basically it is the past form of the word dream which means a series of events or images that happen in your mind when you are sleeping. So this paragraph tells us that Kalpana Chawla's birthplace was Karnal and she said that she never dreamed to ever cross the borders of space even. And it was enough for her that her parents permitted her to attend engineering college after her graduation from Tagore School. After a Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering against great opposition from her father, she went for a Master's degree to the United States of America. She later earned her PhD in Aerospace Engineering. Kalpana Chawla was the first Indian-American woman astronaut to blast off from the launch pad at Cape Canaveral, Florida and participate in a successful mission in space. Her family from India cheered along with staff at the Kennedy Space Center as they watched the Columbia lift off. So here the word opposition means strong disagreement. The word earn means something you deserved by working hard. The phrase blast off means to leave the ground or to take off. Launchpad means a special platform from which a spacecraft is sent into space. And the word cheered means gave a loud shout of approval or encouragement. So, this paragraph tells us that despite her father's opposition, Kalpana went for a master's degree to the United States of America after completing her bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering. And she was the first Indo-American woman astronaut to take off from a rocket launching site at Cape Canaveral, Florida for a successful mission in space. Her family from India cheered along with the staff at the Kennedy Space Center as they watched the Columbia lift off. Kalpana was born in Karnal, Haryana, but was a naturalized U.S. citizen married to flight instructor John Pear Harrison. Besides being an astronaut, she was licensed to fly single and multi-engine land airplanes, single-engine seaplanes and gliders. She was also a certified flight instructor. After qualifying as a pilot, Kalpana began to consider another challenge, applying to NASA's space shuttle program. She was first hired as a research scientist at NASA. In 1994, she was selected by NASA for training as an astronaut. Here, the word naturalized citizen means to make someone a legal citizen of a country that they were not born in. The word certified means having a document that proves that you have successfully finished a course of training. So as we all know that Kalpana was born in Karnal, Haryana, so she was an Indian by birth, but she became a naturalized US citizen after getting married to flight instructor John Pear Harrison. Apart from being an astronaut, she had the license to fly single and multi-engine land airplanes, single-engine seaplanes and gliders. She was also a certified flight instructor and after qualifying as a pilot, Kalpana took another challenge and applied to NASA's space shuttle program. NASA is 
National Aeronautics and Space Administration. And first she joined NASA as a research scientist. And then in 1994, she was selected for training as an astronaut by NASA. Now look at the paragraph number four. When asked what it was like being a woman in her field, she replied, I really never ever thought while pursuing my studies or doing anything else that I was a woman or a person from a small city or a different country. I pretty much had my dreams like anyone else and I followed them. And people who were around me fortunately always encouraged me and said, if that's what you want to do, carry on. So here the word pursuing means following someone or something. The word fortunately means luckily. And the word encouraged means to give hope, support or confidence to somebody. So this paragraph tells us that people asked her about her feelings as being a woman in the field. And she replied that she never thought that she was a woman or she belonged to a small city or from another country. Rather, she had her own dreams and she followed them like any other person at that place. And fortunately, people around her always motivated her to pursue her dreams. Kalpana's first space mission in the Space Shuttle Columbia was 15 days, 16 hours and 34 minutes long. During this time, she went around the Earth 252 times, traveling 10.45 million kilometers. The crew included a Japanese and a Ukrainian astronaut. The crew performed experiments such as pollinating plants to observe food growth in space and tests for making stronger metals and faster computer chips, all for a price tag of about $56 million. So this paragraph tells us that Columbia was her first space mission and it was 15 days, 16 hours and 34 minutes long. And during this time, she went around the Earth 252 times, traveling about 10.45 million kilometers. The crew had a Japanese and a Ukrainian astronaut. And the crew tried to pollinate plants to check food growth in space and conducted tests for making stronger metals and faster computer chips, all for a price tag of about $56 million. On the Saturday night, when the news about the Columbia disaster broke, there was shock and disbelief. The town of Karnal spent a sleepless night as thousands of households stayed glued to their television sets in the hope that Kalpana and the crew had somehow survived. A journalist wrote, She was a heroine. It takes enormous ability to become an astronaut. You need to know a lot about everything, from biology to astrophysics to aeronautical engineering. In this age of super specialization, you must have encyclopedic knowledge to be an astronaut. Her achievement is awe-inspiring. Here in this paragraph, the word disaster means an event that causes a lot of harm or damage. The word glued means focused on something. The word enormous means huge. The phrase encyclopedic knowledge means covering a large range of knowledge. Awe-inspiring means amazing or awesome. So this paragraph tells us that people were filled with grief and were not able to believe the news of Columbia disaster. And they were glued to their television sets to get the news of Kalpana's survival. And a journalist called her a heroine. It's a matter of huge potential to be an astronaut. One needs to have a thorough knowledge of every subject from biology to astrophysics to aeronautical engineering. And her achievements were quite inspiring. For millions of young Indians, the story of Kalpana Chawla, a girl from a small town who touched the skies, had become an inspiration. In a message that she sent from aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia to students of her college in Chandigarh, Kalpana said, The path from dreams to success does exist. May you have the vision to find it, the courage to get onto it. Wishing you a great journey. There will surely be many who start off on this journey to fulfill their dreams. 
सो दिस पैराग्राफ टेल्स अस दैट द स्टोरी ऑफ कल्पना चावला बिकेम एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर मिलियंस ऑफ यंग इंडियंस एंड इवन शी सेंट अ मैसेज फ्रॉम द स्पेस शटल कोलम्बिया टू स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ हर कॉलेज इन चंडीगढ़ इन विच शी सेट दैट द पाथ फ्रॉम ड्रीम्स टू सक्सेस डज एग्जिस्ट इट मीन्स दैट इफ वी हैव अ ड्रीम इट कैन बी अचीव इट कैन बी फुलफिल्ड वी कैन गेट सक्सेस इन अचीविंग अ ड्रीम वी ओनली नीड अ विजन एंड करेज टू अचीव इट सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस स्टोरी एंड आई होप यू हैव ऑल्सो गॉट इंस्पायर टू फुलफिल योर ड्रीम्स टू अचीव योर ड्रीम्स आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड रीडिंग दिस इंस्परेशनल रियल लाइफ स्टोरी ऑफ कल्पना चावला and this is all for today and we'll meet once again in a new video with a new topic till then take care stay home stay safe thank you